All right guys, what I wanna do in this video is show you guys how to center items both vertically and horizontally using JavaScript. Let's get started. All right, so all I have over here so far is a index.html file, and inside of this index.html file, I'm referencing a script file that I have not created yet. And I have a div. Now this div has an ID of square, which we're gonna to use to reference inside of that script file. And also we have some inline styles. All we're saying here is let's give it a one pixel border and a height and width of 100 pixels. And as you can see, this is the element that we've created. So one really easy way to center this horizontally would be to come over to these inline styles and just say margin auto. Now that centers it horizontally, but we have two small issues. One, we can't really very easily center this vertically with CSS. And also, if I were to come in and say position absolute, whoops, it is no longer centered horizontally. So the best way to solve both of these problems is actually to do this with JavaScript. So I'm gonna keep this position absolute so that you can see that it works both ways when we do this with JavaScript, okay? So I'm gonna create a script.js file. And what I wanna do first inside of this file is go ahead and grab the width and height of this square. So to do that, I'll create a variable called square and set that equal to document.getElementById and I wanna grab the square. Now I wanna log both the height and the width just to make sure that what I've got is accurate. So we'll say square and to access the height, it would be the client height and to access the width, it would be the same thing but with client width instead of client height. Save it and when I inspect here, you can see that I have both 100 and 100 for the height and the width, which if you come over here, that is accurate. Now notice that these are numbers and they do not have PX at the end. Keep that in mind for later. What I wanna do is just make sure that this is still accurate when I change it. When I save it, you can see it's 120 and 100, so we know that these are accurate values. What I want to do to center this horizontally is set the margin left of this div equal to the width of the window divided by two minus the width of the object itself divided by two. Now, I'll show you what I mean one step at a time. So let's go ahead and set the margin left of this equal to the window divided by two, and let's see what that looks like. So simply left is equal to the window dot, and then that's going to be the inner width divided by two. And, whoops divided by two. And remember, we have to add pixels at the end. And when I save it, you can see that the, the left edge of this div is actually at the center of the window horizontally. We don't want that. We want the center of the element itself to be at the center of the window horizontally. So all we have to do here is subtract from that margin the width of the object itself divided by two. So we'll say square dot client width divided by two. And we just put a space there for consistency and save it. And you can see now that it is centered horizontally. Let's do the exact same thing with height. And let's save it. And you can see now it is centered vertically and horizontally. Now here's the problem. As I resize the window, it doesn't stay centered. It's not dynamic. So the best way to do that would be to simply grab these two items here and create a function. So we'll say const center square. And the function will just run those two lines of code. And we have to call that initially. So we'll call center square initially. But we also want to call it whenever the window resizes. So on the window object itself, we'll create a event listener with resize as the type. And the function that we want to run is center square, and I spelled square wrong, so I'm gonna come in here and just fix that. Center square. And when I save it, looks like I still have it misspelled. Yep, there it is, whoops. So it centers, and then when I resize it, it stays centered. Now, as you can see over here, I have the position set to absolute, and when I remove it, I can save it and it's still centered. 
you can see that it stays centered whether or not the position is absolute. So with JavaScript, we were able to center this both horizontally and vertically quite easily. And one other thing is if we were to want to put this inside of an apparent div, it'd be just as easy instead of calling the width and height on the window here when calculating the uh, position of the margin left, instead of calling it on window, we would call it on the parent div instead, which would allow us to center it both horizontally and vertically inside of a parent div. Well, that was a quick tutorial for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.